Hi, my name is Elias. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to take a physical CD-ROM and create a copy of it on your hard drive. This copy is an exact image of the CD called an ISO. From the ISO, you can create additional copies of the disk or use it as a backup. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert your ISO into a virtual CD-ROM drive so that you can access the disk like it was physically inserted, which is called mounting an ISO. In case you're wondering why you'd want to do this, I recently had a client who used a gift card creating software that constantly required a CD to be installed for additional graphics and clip art. Using this method, the operating system thinks the CD is always installed while the physical drive stays freed up for other disks. In my case, for this video, I'll be creating an ISO of my Server 2008 install DVD so that as I add additional features and I'm asked to insert my DVD, I'll always have my mountable ISO on hand. I'll be posting links to the tools I use in the description, all of which are freely available, easy to use, and very lightweight. This method works for CDs and DVDs. Begin by opening up Internet Explorer, and initially we're going to create the ISO of the CD-ROM so that we can later mount it and the tool I use is at loosersoft.com when you get there click on the freeware link and at the top you'll see LC ISO creator download the tool it comes in a zip format so I'm gonna extract it on my desktop by just dragging and dropping For starters, I'm going to show you there is right now nothing in the drive. I'm going to insert my 2008 CD and you'll see that it's inserted when the icon shows up on the drive here. And this is a physical CD-ROM drive with a physical DVD inserted. I'm going to open up LC ISO Creator. And I'm going to make sure my drive is selected with the DVD that I want to make a copy of. And select Create ISO. And you can name the ISO anything you want. In this case, I'm going to call it Server 2008. The program will begin to read the disk and create a copy of the disk. and now we have a copy of the CD sitting there on the desktop. I like using this program because it's very lightweight, it's easy to use, it's very effective, I don't have to install anything, it takes a very little disk space. This is all this program is intended to do. After we have the image there's not much that we can do with it aside from maybe making a copy of it, having it stored as a backup, some of the later versions of Windows give you the option to actually create a copy of it and burning the image to a, another physical writable CD. But in this case, we're going to show you how to mount the CD. The tool I prefer to use is at slysoft.com. Select download and select to download a virtual clone drive, which you can see is also freeware.
This program does require an installation because it has to install the drivers that it needs to be able to make this virtual CD-ROM drive. But it is still very lightweight. As you can see, it's only about one and a half megabytes. When you run it, you'll probably get prompted about whether or not you want to trust the software company. Tell it to always trust and select install. After it's completed, if you go into my computer, you'll see a new CD-ROM drive installed. And if you look earlier, I only have one physical CD-ROM drive. However, the additional one is the virtual CD-ROM drive. And to put this into perspective for you, I'm going to remove my physical disk so that you can watch the icon change indicating that the disk is gone. And I'm going to keep that out of the drive. For the other drive, I'm going to right click my image, which has a new icon because of the software we installed, and I'm going to ask it to mount it to the F drive, which is the new drive created here. And watch what happens. The computer now thinks that the drive is physically inserted into the machine, and it leaves my other drive available for me to use other disks. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching.